Cincinnati's police chief is now saying why an officer opened fire in College Hill. Chief Jeffrey Blackwell, Blackwell says it appears veteran officer Sabine Robinson could have been justified in firing her gun. Nine on your side's Natasha Williams live at District 1 Police Headquarters now where a news conference just wrapped up moments ago. Natasha. Well, Brendan, the chief wants to be very clear. This is an ongoing investigation, but he did lay out the details of what happened in College Hill yesterday. He says the officer had to act fast with the information that she had at that moment. The chief played a 911 tape made moments after 11 year veteran Officer Sabrine Robinson pulled her gun and fired. It was here at this store parking lot in College Hill when Officer Robinson was approached by a woman asking her to get a man out of her car. The chief says the officer who was alone thought the situation was a domestic dispute and could have turned violent. She repeatedly ordered Mr. Reese to exit the vehicle that he was in. He was in the back seat on the driver's side of the vehicle. Uh, Mr. Reese repeatedly refused. Chief says Michael Reese repeatedly refused to get out of the car and show his hands and was acting erratically, moving his arms and flailing. Then suddenly... At some point, Mr. Reese moved his hands to his right side and reach down in a quick fashion. Now those mo those movements that Mr. Reese made actually made the officer think that he might have had a gun, so she responded by firing her weapon. At this point, the officer realized that it was just black gloves, we're told. Now again, no one was hurt, no charges have been filed, that it, officer is on paid administrative leave for the next seven days while this investigation continues. Reporting live from District 1, Natasha Williams, 9 on your side.